Book four. Book four, one. Whatever you see here, stranger, which is mighty Rome by Propertius. Propertius. Whatever you see here, stranger, which is mighty Rome, was hail and grass before Phaedrin Aeneas, and where the Palatine shrines of naval Phoebus stand, ex Evander's exiled cattle sank to the ground. These golden temples arose from earthenware gods. There was no disgrace in a cabin made without art. The Tarpeian father thundered from naked rock, and Tiber still was foreign to our cattle. Where Remus's house stands up there at the head of the steps, one hearth was once the brother's mighty kingdom. The Curia, now shining aloft with senators' purple-fringed togas, held skin-clad fathers' rural hearts. Horns gathered the former citizens to the moot. The Senate was often a hundred of them in a meadow. No billowing awning draped the hollow theater. The stage was not scented with ceremonial saffron. No one was concerned to seek exotic gods, but trembled in suspense before the rites of his fathers, crowding the yearly Parlina's bonfire of hay, purification such as we still renew with a docked horse. Vesta was poor, delighted in garland donkey colts, and skinny cattle pulled humble sacred emblems. The little cross ways were purified with fatted pigs, and a shepherd, to reading to read piping, dully offered a sheep's organs. The skin-clad plowman flourished his bristly taws, whence lawless Fabius Lepcurnus holds, holds his rights. Unsophisticated soldiers did not flash in threatening armor, but joined in their battle stripped with fire-hardened staves. Capped with hide, Licinium pitched the first headquarters, and the greater part of Tatius's wealth was in his sheep. Hence Titinius, heroic Ramses, and Salonian Lucretius. Hence Romulus drove the four white horses, Bolivia, indeed by the little town was less a suburb, and Gabia, now nothing, seemed thickly peopled then. Powerful Alba stood, born of the white sow's omen. It was a long road to go, from there to Fidine. And their nursling Ro Roman had has the nursling Roman has nothing from his fathers except the name, would not suppose that a she wolf fostered foster mothered his race. You did well, Troy, when you sent your penates here. Ah, what auguries carried forward the Dardinian ship, even when the omens promised well for the womb was revealed of the fire, firewood horse had damaged her not at all. When the quivering father hung on the back of his son, and the flames feared to burn those dutiful soldiers' shoulders, then came Odysseus' spirit and Brutus's consular power, then Venus herself brought here the weapons of Caesar, carried the conquering weapons of Troy arising once more. <laughs>